What's up my darlings, welcome back to Mass Effect 3. So last time we saved the Citadel and the Council again. I mean, we showed up to the Citadel thinking we were meeting with the Council, we were going to get told off, and the place was on fire and Cerberus had staged a coup. I mean, the actual audacity at this point. The elusive man, I'm getting sick and tired of your nonsense and I'm coming to get you. Watch out. To make it even more devastating, we lost Thane. I mean, I had barely recovered from Morden's death, and then boom, right after that, we lose Thane. I mean, it was heartbreaking, but it was so cool to see him in action one last time, and we got to be there with him at the end, and so did his son. So rest in peace, Thane. You'll be very missed. Today, we're going on to a mission that the Asari have asked us to help with. It seems like they're finally getting on board, and now they need our help, Liara our girlfriend, my little blueberry, the shadow broker, do you know who my girlfriend is? <laughs> Asked us to help out with this, so of course we're going to go and do that. All I know is that the name has Ardot Yakshi in it, so who knows what we're going to uncover today. So grab yourself a drink or a snack, get cozy, and let's get to it. We just got done stopping the citadel from burning down once again. And now we have a whole bunch of stuff that just opened up. I quite honestly wasn't sure where to start, but I've decided to start with Liara because she's my girlfriend and she asked. So I'm like, okay. And also a big part of me really wants the Asari on board, like for realsies. I know they said they're on board, but I don't believe them. So hopefully if I help them with this, they'll get with the program. I very much like the fact that the Asari were like, oh, sorry, Earth, we can't help you. It's too dangerous. And now they need my help. They're like, please get back to us immediately. We need help. I'm like, trying not to be salty. Cerberus better not be there. I swear to God, I will burn the place down. <laughs> the next part of the story is beginning. We have lots of things to do. And we're going to start with Liara. So let's get back into it and boop that any button. Boop. Dr. Chuck was sent a word she'd like to speak with you. What? Oh, I couldn't hear Trainer saying that. That's interesting. Wait, Dr. Chocolates needs me? What did she say, Trainer? What does she need? Hello, by the way. Hi. Sorry, I'm very excited. You said Dr. Chocolates. Blah. <laughs> Yeah, sorry Liara, my other girlfriend needs me. <laughs> Dr. Chocolates needs to speak to me. Thank you, trainer. I appreciate you, darling. Blah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Let's go. Boop. Mama Chalk. Let's go. Thermal clips will always remind me of Conrad now. <gasps> oh, Garrus. Oh, I haven't looked at this yet. I, I haven't looked at it yet. I can't look at it. No. I looked at it and the first name I saw was Thane. Oh no. Hang on, let's take a look. Oh, there's Morden. Morden Solus and Thane Creos. <sighs> Rip. Oh, I'm sad now. There's Ashley in there. Jenkins. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Jenkins is in there. Is this like a MySpace top 10? Except for... Okay, that's... That's not appropriate. Oh, Presley's on there too. Let's have a moment of silence. For everyone we've lost. So far. Oh, sad panda. Hi, Garrus. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. Yeah. And you almost had to put down a friend. Put a little down. tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? <laughs> oh, no! Ooh, this is awkward. As much as I wouldn't want to... If it came down to it and Caden was absolutely not listening and absolutely not stopping Udina, I don't know. It's hard to say. I wouldn't want to shoot Caden, obviously. It's not like I'm waiting for an opportunity to shoot him. But it's like, if it really came down to it, I don't know, probably. I'm gonna feel like such a jerk if I say yes. 
I could have deliberately shot Caden without intent to kill him. I could have just, like, maimed him a little bit and stopped him from doing whatever he was gonna do. I mean, knowing me and how much I shoot people in the crotch, I probably would have shot him in the crotch and then he definitely wouldn't want to talk to me anymore. I mean, like, oh god, okay, I'm just gonna, uh, if I had to? Yes. Heading back down? Yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Oh, no! So, I'm glad Caden didn't have to join Ash. No, Gareth! Losing one was enough. Oh, no, Gareth! My reputation went up. How did my reputation go up? I feel like I just ruined all of Gareth's trust in me. He's like, oh, that's good to know. Remind me never to piss you off. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What have I done? Hi, Garrus. I love you, Garrus. I won't shoot you. <laughs> I promise. Uh, see, Caden's barely back on the Normandy and already he's causing trouble. Does he have anything else to say? Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Yeah, speaking of which, I should probably go talk to that guy. I mean, to be fair, yeah, Garrus would probably get me first. All right, well, um, I'm sorry if I just made things awkward, Garrus. I'm not a loose cannon. I just, I wanted to be honest, you know? Like, I don't want to shoot Caden. <laughs> you get it, right? Okay, well, I'm going to go talk to Caden now and hopefully things won't be even more awkward than this. All right, bye. <laughs> Hello. It's just some dude. Hey, what you doing? The best thing is I can't talk to this guy, so can you imagine if your commanding officer just came in while you were on your- He's not even typing! Hey, what you doing? You know, I'm not gonna ask. Everyone's under a lot of stress right now. It's okay. Um, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna go. I should go. <laughs> Boop. Alright, so the question is, where is Caden? There is life support. Did we stick him in life support? I miss Thane. This will forever be Thane's room. No one gets to stay in here. This is for Thane. Boop. Hey, it's that guy. Hello. <sighs> oh, hey, babe. So calm from here. I'm just chilling. <laughs> going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. Yep. I don't want to be fighting alongside them, but. <sighs> I want to be here, you know? Sure. Yeah, I get it. Thank so broody. Specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. Oh. My dad is, um, he's MIA. Oh no. He's presumed. Oh, dude, that's awful. Oh no, Caden, what happened? Yeah. You said they got out of Vancouver. Oh, that's right. They're in Vancouver. And reported for active duty. It's all we know, but it's uh, it's enough. Oh. She's alone in this now, in all this. I'm not gonna tell him to let it go. <laughs> it's his dad. I'm sorry. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie. In empathy. Yes. Thanks. You're right. Mm. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. Haunted. I'm not doing a renegade that. for that. Nope. I do. Nope. And my students. <laughs> well, wherever they are, I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, <laughs> there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Oh. She's just staring Thanks at him. Thanks for coming by. You're welcome. Good to have you back, Caden. Careful, he might propose marriage. Okay. I feel so bad for him. I'm like. Are we going to meet Caden's mom at some point? That would be interesting. I'd be interested to see that. Can we say something else to him? 
Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. <laughs> Shit oh my god, he hasn't met Edie yet. Oh. She looks good though. Oh. Oh, okay. Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. Just the clothes on my back and a few things I've picked up in the Citadel. Kind of like it. Living lean. I mean, there's lots of books for you to read and stuff, and there's lots of couches to sit on. Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. Seems like it. A lot of credits in here. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to get back out there. All right, dude. Thanks for the chat. It's good to have you back. I will leave you to brood and be a broody little potato. Boop. I was wondering who would get that big room. And it looks like it's Cadence. Woo! All right, let's go see a girl. Dr. Chocolates. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Let's keep up the good work, everybody. Boop. Hello, darling. Yes, you may. That's why I'm here. Hello. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. Go What's on. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. Okay. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Wait, why me? Isn't this something you could do yourself? Good question. War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. Oh, uh, okay. You are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. Sure. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Okay. Thank you, Commander. Wait, do you mean With those access to their equipment and materials? I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our medigel. Oh, I see. Wait, so that means there's more refugees than there were before. There are already so many of oh, those poor people. Hello, darling. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. I have nothing further to say to you until you complete the mission I have given you. Good day. <laughs> oh, I miss Legion. Where's Legion? I want my buddy back. Boop. Goodbye, Dr. Chocolates. Thank you for the mission. It was nice talking to you, sweetie. Boop. All right. Um, well, let's see if Liara has anything to say. Boop. For your orders, I have the latest reports on the council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray. To say the least. Weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Mm -hmm. Postpone those deployments at once. Hi, darling. Hello again. How are you? Is she gonna have absolutely nothing Hello. to say to me? Oh my god! I feel like she's one in particular that after most major missions, she has nothing Hello. to say to me. Okay, sweetie. Um. It's nice to see you. Hi, Glyph. Well, that was fun. Boop. There is new information on the private messages terminal. What? Boop. Oh, interesting. There's an audio recording from Councillor Gugier's Senate office. Secretary Phillips, the emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get here. Not with the prices their captains are asking for. What about the military? They left an hour ago. They said, they said it's too much of a risk to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here. This is a pass key, sir, and an inventory? Phillips, I'm authorizing you on behalf of this city senate to seize any and all EZO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. These look like private stockpiles, senate members' stockpiles. I'm foregoing re-election, now get us those ships! Yes, sir! Dang. Well, I don't think there's anything else we need to do exactly, so I think we can just head out to Liara's mission. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on VidCom. Oh, okay, maybe I should go speak to him then. <laughs> Never mind, do you have something Commander? new to say? Commander, looks like we have someone else to talk to. Running in a circle, cause it's really fun. Weirding out my comrades. Hello. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boop. 
Hi, Anderson. I was hoping you'd check in again. How you okay? are you? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. Yes, Anderson. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news oh. we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. Oh, that's good to hear. You know it's like fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. Oh my god. I that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate. That was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. Oh. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. Mm. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. London? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. what? Is London gonna be spearheading the resistance? Ooh, that's very exciting. In it, bruv. <laughs> Yes, as a Londoner, I'm very excited. That's so funny. I think this is like the first time I've heard London or the UK like mentioned in Mass Effect. Sounds bad. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? Uh. No. And that scares the hell out of me. Oh well, of dear. Scared the hell out of the Reapers. Mm-hmm. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. He's on my hit list. We need whatever good news you can send our way. Anderson out. Bye, Anderson. Please be careful. Oh, Kai Lang's going down. He killed my boy Fane, and I will make him suffer for it. Well, we've passed the bare minimum for our military strength. That's really good. <laughs> we have hope. Yes! Conrad's Dark Energy Dissertation! Yes! Shall we read it? Published years ago by Dr. Conrad Werner. Oh, I wanted to read the whole thing. Come on. One whole point. <laughs> I just noticed it's one point. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm sure it's worth more than one point. Come on now. This doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology is a lengthy but intriguing argument that dark energy causes a minute but empirically observable difference in the passage of time. Hotly debated when first published, the paper's theory is supported by recent data. The dissertation illuminates several instructions left by the Protheans on how to build the crucible. That's amazing. <laughs> Yes, Conrad coming through. We have Erdnot Rex, we have First Division, we have Krogan clans and Clan Erdnot. I thought I looked at a bunch of this already. Yay, Krogan. Oh, they get updated as you go. Oh, interesting. Building up that army, baby. We're doing it, we're doing it. It's happening, it's happening. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, trainer. Boop. Oh, uh, whoa, I have a bunch of emails. Okay, let's go down the list. <laughs> wow. She said a new message, not a ton of emails. Wow. Okay, first of all, this has Kelly vibes, sorry, Felicia vibes all over it. Trainer tells me I have a message in my terminal and the message is from her. <laughs> all right, we have game night question mark from Samantha Trainer Commander. Thanks for taking the time to speak with the civilian. I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time between missions. Ooh. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? I promise a night of fun and games. Trainer. Does she want to play games or does she want to play games? <laughs> I'm very curious. Well, two things can be true. <clears throat> Glances over at Trainer. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I might have to look into that. We have defecting Cerberus engineers. Aha, I remember this. From Sender Blocked. Dear Shepard, 
changing my identity was good advice. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Once again, you've saved my life. You're welcome, Felicia. She signed it, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. No, Kelly. It says sender blocked and then she signed it with her name. Kelly, no. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> After we last spoke, I overheard some refugees mention Cerberus. Then they said my name. I freaked out until I recognized their voices. Close friends of mine who've defected in disguise and on the run, just like me. They are talented engineers, Shepard. Who could help with the war effort? I've attached contact information to forward to whoever could use their help. You can trust them. Missing you. Kelly Chambers, she signed it with her full name. Kelly, why did you go through all that effort to block your sender name and then sign your full name? Oh my god, Kelly. Oh, Kelly. I thought we had this conversation, Kelly. All right, next. Citadel interview your cabin from Diana Allers. Let's take a look. The networks are going wall to wall with coverage of the attack on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Udina's death. Can I get an hour or so with you to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than the conference room so we don't get interrupted. I'm getting a lot of invitations to hang out in my own cabin. I heard you knew the counselor personally. If you need some time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Diana. So I'm getting invites to my own cabin and other people's cabins. Wow. <clears throat> Meet me at the bar. <laughs> Jack. The students are kicking ass and taking names. They're keeping them on short rotations. So they don't burn out. So we end up with lots of shore leave. Next time you hit the Citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there if I'm not blowing shit up in the field. We did this already, but that's cool. She sent an email beforehand that I completely didn't read. There's a new article on Cerberus from Alliance News Network information partners, Elysium. An evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper-occupied colony of Elysium was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Do you guys hear Imp? She has a little rainbow in her mouth and she's carrying it down the hallway. Imp! She's like, I caught this. I caught this, everyone. It's mine. Their shuttle was saved when the biotic, identified by authorities as Aresh Agdashlu, engaged Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Agdashlu had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pragia as a child. Oh my god. That guy, witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Wow. Yeah, wow. Rip to that guy. That's quite a way to go. I mean, thank goodness he did that because all those people were able to get out. We have Hope Lives from Erdnot Bakara, Commander, period. <laughs> I'm writing you from the Kelfic Valley on Tuchanka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there's a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is reason to hope. This I owe you, Commander. This I will never forget. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, man. There's about to be a lot of uh, reproducing activities on Tuchanka. Adrian Victus. Derlesh Mole. Hello, Victus. How's it going? Commander Shepard. 
Cerberus just ambush a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. Oh, that's not good. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information. And the only other person who knew the cruiser's position was Volus Ambassador Din Korlak. <gasps> I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty out for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for the political crisis that would result. Yes, please, can we avoid that? Can we not do this right now? <laughs> but the security of our fleets is at stake. Okay, I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a spectre and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus Mole. I forwarded information on his last known location to the Spectre office on the Citadel. Regards, Primarch Victus. Yes, next time I'm on the Citadel when it's not on fire anymore, I'll check it out. I think this guy was one of my first major, like, other NPC characters I met on the Citadel in Mass Effect 1, if I remember correctly. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Got a minute? From James, what's up my dude? Hey Commander, just wondering if you've got some time in the near future. Nothing critical, just wanted to chat. Vega. Okay, I have time for you, my guy. Kai Leng's dossier. Okay, let's take a look from Hackett. Hi Hackett. Shepard, as promised, here is what we have on Kai Leng. I need every bit of information so I can smoke this guy. All right, Leng Kai. Age on enlistment, 16 credentials faked, obviously. Tours of Duty, Terminus Systems Patrol and Reconnaissance, Exodus Cluster Patrol and Reconnaissance, reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers, sentence reduced in light of previous exemplary service record, Raid of Entian, recommended for Systems Alliance Medal of Valor, Kite's Nest, Tactical Reconnaissance, accepted into Interplanetary Combatives Academy, received N7 designation from Interplanetary Combatives Academy, Dishonorably discharged and imprisoned after charge of first degree murder. Oh, that escalated quickly. Oh. Okay. I feel like this guy has been a lot of places that I've been. I mean, I have been literally everywhere, but like still. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at his Cerberus activities. So he was dishonorably discharged for first degree murder. I'm learning everything I can about this guy because he killed Thane. So he's like top of my hit list. Intel on Kai Lang's activities after joining Cerberus is spotty. Well, it's Cerberus. What is known is that the elusive man arranged for Lang's escape from prison. Shocking. Employing him as an operative for the next 10 years, Leng is now believed to be the elusive man's most trusted agent, working as an infiltrator and assassin. His cybernetic modifications appear to include Cerberus's phantom class implants. Great. Yeah, the phantoms look like they are a whole bunch of fun. Uh, great. Apparently he's also spent his time getting his ass handed to him by terminally ill Drell. You know, <laughs> he got lucky. Ooh, what is this? Priority Citadel Shore leave from Hackett. Commander Shepard, I'm ordering the Normandy into dry dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. A small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive, so let's get your crew out of there. You're all on shore leave. That's an order? We need everybody at their best. One more thing, Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive. I hear it's a nice place. Admiral Hackett. We all get to be on shore leave? <laughs> what? Does that mean we can all go party together and go clubbing? Well, it seems like because the whole crew gets to leave, right? So I should probably wait until I have pretty much everyone I can recruit before doing that, I would guess. Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited. Does that mean we all get to go and like have drinks and go out to dinner and like have a fun time together? Ooh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I know he just said I'm on shore leave. That's an order, but like I'm going to go do all this other stuff first. That was a lot of emails. Thank you, trainer. I feel like she didn't notify me recently that I had that many emails. If she did, I must have completely missed it. Hey, it's that guy. Hello? Did you make that sound effect happen? Was that you? 
<laughs> He's like, yes, that's my one job here is to make that sound effect. Wah, 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 wah. Hey! Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. Oh, are you okay? So servers wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Thank you. You used to work for those assholes. <laughs> something about leather seats. I worked for servers when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream <laughs> and evil. A little too mainstream. The thing is that you kicked their asses. Yep. And Caden's back. He Yay. The first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. <laughs> Be nice. So easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. <laughs> yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. Oh. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. Oh my God. Amazing. Oh, Joker. Hey, oh, I love him. Hi, Edie. <laughs> you roasted Caden. Hello, Shepard. Hi. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Don't mess with Mama yeah, Thresher Maul. All we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maul. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. I'm <laughs> She's sorry, thinking Shepard. about it. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. A giant sandworm. to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? Oh. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. <laughs> What is the purpose of synthetic life? Okay. Um. Ooh, this is uh. Better be delicate with this. Whatever it wants to be, the job it was designed for. <laughs> Joker. He's like, here we go again. I feel like they've had this conversation a few times, and it hasn't gone very smoothly. I'm gonna say whatever it wants to be because I like that answer. It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful Makes sense. synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Uh... Don't think like a Reaper. Oh god, I don't want to put that idea in her head. There's more to organics! We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. <laughs> I, I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. Oh. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. <laughs> Shepard, that was quick. I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Oh. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? Wait, what? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. What? Wait, she wasn't good before? <laughs> what? I'm confused. Hi, Edie. Are you and Caden okay? The last time he saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed him of the situation. He is taking it. This well. is an interesting angle. Boop. Hello, Shepard. Hi, Edie. You're amazing, sweetie. All right, you two. I'm going to leave you guys to hang out together. You be good, okay? Joker, ask her on a date. Okay, bye. <laughs> Love you, kids. <laughs> I hope they get together soon. They're so sweet. Edie just, like, did an on switch to something. I'm like, was she more neutral before? Like, I'm a little bit a little worried now. It's okay. I, I trust Edie, but that was a little... That was interesting. Let's take a look at our journal. So, okay, here it is. Masana distress signal. Asari High Command has requested help dealing with a distress signal on an Asari colony. Go to the colony and investigate the situation. I'm a little worried about the dude whose job it is to just salute me because he literally looks like he's just walking circles. Um, I'm just going to mind my own business on that, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. Okay, let's go to the map. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> oh, 
God, get me out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> that was... I need to not be at the Citadel right now. Boop. Okay, so... Where are we going? <gasps> oh my God. Far Rim, speak with Quarians. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. I want to go see Tali. Is Tali there? I want to go see the Quarians. Can I go see Tali? Tali, I love you. Ah, here it is. Nimbus Cluster, investigate Asari colony. Whew, okay. Part of me is thinking that when I've done this mission and Trainer's mission, I want to go and speak with the Quarians because I miss the hell out of Tali. I want my girl back. Well, for now, we'll do what we set out to do and go investigate. I'm like, shiny, Quarians, ah, to the Nimbus Cluster, we go. Boop. And there's gonna be Reapers there. Let's go. Wee. Do, 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 do. Masana. Let's go. Wee. And boop. Alrighty then. Here we go. Lessus. <laughs> I know it's probably lessus, but I like saying lessus. Things seem lessus right now. <laughs> This mission is probably less us, but we won't find out until we land. All right, less us. How sus are you going to be today? Boop. Yes. Oh, it's a garden world. Okay. Sus is an unpopular garden world. How can a garden world be unpopular? Well, I can think of some reasons why. With characteristics just outside of the comfort zone of its Asari population. Its gravity is a little too high, its disease is a little too vir virulent, and the soil is inhospitable for growing food. Oh, okay, so it's really bad at being a garden world. <laughs> Further information is difficult to come by. The Asari government is uncharacteristically silent about Lesas, or oh, that sounds very Lesas. Normally a garden world settled so long ago would be highly populated, but little light pollution can be seen on Lesas's night side. Asari being being silent about things? That's not less sus at all. I'm shocked. Let's land. Okay, so I know we've taken Liara out on the last like 20 missions, but I feel like because we are dealing with the Asari, I feel like I should bring Liara. The question is, who do I want to bring with Liara? Blueberry, my darling, you are definitely coming with us, my Goyle friend. Boop. Maybe we'll get more dialogue out of Liara this time. I have to say it's a little bit of a bummer as someone that's romancing her, like how little I've really talked to her a bunch. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of times after missions or after certain things, I've expected her to have things to say or hope that she would and she hasn't, so I don't know. Oh, Caden's back in the ranks. Should we bring Caden this time? I'm trying to decide. Because Garrus has been out the last few times. We haven't taken James or Javik out in a while, and Caden is back in the group. He's brand new. I feel like for Asari, maybe Javik or maybe Caden. I don't know. Liara and Javik have a really interesting dynamic. I also feel like I haven't brought him out in a while. Yeah, I think I think Javik needs a day out. It's been a minute. So let's bring Javik. Boop. Alrighty, so Shepard has eight points. I can level up incendiary ammo, I can fully level up pull, I can fully level up shockwave, or I have two spaces in assault mastery. Ooh, I think I want to give myself another assault mastery. Boop. Rank five, we can increase squad mate power damage by 15% and increase squad mate weapon damage by 10%, or we can increase weight capacity by 35 points. Ooh, I feel like anything to increase damage would be good. I don't, I'm not really worried about my weight capacity because I inherently keep it down so my recharge speed stays up. 
So maybe I should do squad bonus. Boop. Liara has four points. The only thing I can level up with her is warp ammo. So maybe I'll do that. Rank four has increased health and armor damage by 7.5, increased barrier damage by 15%. Or we have a squad bonus. Squad mates gain warp ammo at 50% effectiveness. Um, I'm going to do the first one. Damage. Right on. Jarvik has 10 points. I think I'm going to level up Vengeful Ancient to rank 5, with which I can increase his weapon damage by 20%, or I can increase power damage by 40%. I think I'm going to increase power damage by 40 and then I'm going to level up Dark Channel to rank 5. I can do slow targets movement speed by 30% or increase recharge speed by 35%. I'm going to do increase recharge speed by 35. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? You want to fill me in? And I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. A monastery? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These are Morinth. isolated themselves to avoid that. Interesting. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. To That's feed? Why man sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. Oh no. The commandos order us. If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? Oh no. They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Oh dear, that means something could be very, very wrong if they were planning to use all of these explosives to just completely flatten this place. They want to take no risks. So what in the world is going on here? I want to say, is this really necessary? Because I'm curious what she'll say. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Multiple of them, Morinth though? Yes. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. It's not like, hey, try and take them out. It's like, bomb the place. Bomb it. <laughs> Whoa! That's really serious. Um, even so, I'll say bombs are a last resort. Don't assume anything. Maybe the yard at Yakshi sent out the distress. Oh god, I if hope so. want us to destroy this place? I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Oh dear. I mean, like... Given the seriousness with which the situation was treated when I dealt with an Ardak Yakshi before, um, can't we just sick them on the Reapers? Like, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be so cool. How is a shuttle? The shuttle is warm, recently used. Nice. Oh, it's snowing, I think. I hope that's snow and not ash. I'm not going to ask questions. <laughs> I don't want to ask questions I don't want to know the answer to, you know what I mean? Ooh, Assault Rifle Stability Damper. Okay. Well, here we are. We're at a monastery. Javik, behave yourself. Liara, please help me out here. I'm... Oh god, I'm scared. What are we gonna find in here? Oh god, I'm scared. All right, let's just... Let's be brave. Boop. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. <laughs> Two things can be true. Oh no, the music just got ominous and creepy. Hello? Oh god. Okay. What was that? There's more than one out there. What is that sound? Um, excuse me. Whoever is making that sound, I'd like you to stop, please. I'm very uncomfortable when did this turn into a horror game oh my god i'm so nervous can we just go back up i want to leave 
can we leave? That scream! It was like the cry of a banshee. Did you hear that? Oh, I don't want to go down. I mean, guys, I really think we should just not risk it and just bomb the place now. You guys down? Like, I, I think we should just bomb the place. Oh, no. Okay. I did not like that sound. I did not like that sound. Oh, God. Hello? Oh. I hear something. Stay sharp. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, no. I hear the screaming again. Oh, God. It would seem the Asari commandos felt silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. Oh, great. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yaxi? Oh, no. Anything oh, useful? no, please, well, no. Marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. What do the Reapers want with the Ardat Yaxi? I can tell you right now. Can you imagine an indoctrinated Ardat Yaxi? Oh, my God, the thought of it is terrifying me. If Ardat Yakshi are already super terrifying and the Reapers get their hands on them, uh, I can't blame them for wanting to bomb the place. Reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. What are we going to find in here? Like, what? I... Okay. Need to just be brave. Ugh... All right, was there stuff in here that I could look at? Computer. To our staff and students, attached is our new daily schedule. Please note that wake up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Floor wardens can download chore lists later this week. Please see Matriarch Galay or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Superintendent Jethro. So they have wake up, breakfast, morning meditation, study period, and chores. Midday meal, classes, study period, supper, evening meditation, free period, and curfew. Lots of meditation. Wall safe. Sniper rifle spare ammo. Thank you. Deep breaths. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fine. I'm going to look around before I proceed, just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Also partially because I'm terrified to keep going. PDA. You won't believe what Yan has managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is gonna be so great. See you there. Oh, and delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. Well, <laughs> it didn't get deleted, apparently. <laughs> oh no. Sneaking in books to read together? Oh my goodness. Ooh, what's in here? I heard something. That was my fault, sorry. <sighs> Oh my god, Liara! <laughs> Don't scare me! Pistol melee stunner. Three, okay. Galay's electronic signature. Intel, okay. Liara, don't scare me like that. Uh, I keep feeling like something's gonna jump out of the ferns. I don't like it. I'm getting out of here. Let's keep going. Oh god, I'm scared. It's so quiet, like way too quiet. Okay, this door's broken. Can I jump over this? I can. Hello? I'm scared, <laughs> it's way too quiet. Ready kids? Oh, okay, boop. It's snowing. <laughs> oh. I have to laugh or I'll cry. Oh, it's so eerie. It's so eerie and so quiet. Okay, it looks like we can't go in here, so we have to go down this hallway. They're really towing the line of a horror game here. Oh, one last nice view before I inevitably come across something. Terrifying. Oop.
Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! Oh my god! It has been some time. Samara! You are a most welcome sight. Yay! Runs deep. Hi, I Samara! You're on your own, just a car. Perhaps for something special. Oh my goodness! Two of my daughters live here. <gasps> and I have come for them. Oh my god, that's right! Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. Oh, Samara. I remember her mentioning when we had to kill her extremely dangerous daughter that we ran a honeypot mission on. That was a wild ride. I remember her mentioning that she had other daughters who were Ardark Yakshi as well. Oh my god, that means we'll probably have to kill her other children. I mean... I don't know a ton, so maybe I should clarify and ask Samara, are your children a threat? But I'm like, is that insensitive of me to ask? Like, are your children a threat? Down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. Aww. And you're here to save them. They are my responsibility, and it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Oh my god, okay. Oh, poor Samara, that's three daughters now. Oh my dear. I'm so sorry that we have to see each other again under such terrible circumstances. We'll help you Let's search. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. I hope they're okay. We're out of time. Oh god, oh god. What? Ooh. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Go, Samara! Be careful, Wait. please. Oh, she's Let's she's go. out. She's like, bye. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Samara, please be careful. I really hope they're okay. I just feel really bad that Samara had to lose one daughter and now two of her other daughters are at risk now. Oh no, there's a PDA. so sad and we're gonna have to go and find someone on the citadel and tell them their loved one has passed javik can i get a hug never mind liara can i get a hug <laughs> no <laughs> all right i'll go hug myself poop samara an isolated fortress the other yakshi must have believed they were safe from the war if they knew about it at all they yeah, learned I'm <laughs> He's like, they weren't dumb. I'm wondering how much they tried to keep from them, though. I mean, they kept them really sheltered. Okay. I'm very nervous. Hello? Okay, the Great Hall's over there. I can't go up there at all, so I'm going to make my way across. A new enemy. Oh my god, oh my god, what? Oh! Oh my god, what is that? It's a banshee! <gasps> oh my god. Oh! She's moving so slowly! Oh no! A banshee's what happens when a reaper and an asari blend together? Please tell me no. Oh no. <gasps> I need to move up. I can't reach from here. Oh god. Oh, and there's cannibals. Love that for us. Is that what a banshee is? Oh no.
Oh, that's terrifying. <gasps> it is! Oh my god! A banshee is- oh god, that's what I was afraid of. I was like, what have the reapers done to the Asari? They made banshees out of them? Oh my god. The noises are like blood curling. Like they're like banshee. That's that's what I thought of. I was like, it's like a banshee's cry. That's what it sounded like. Oh no. It's awful. Like I saw banshees mentioned earlier on in passing and I was like, oh, what are those? Turns out it's what happens when you combine an Asari with a Reaper. Or when you indoctrinate an Asari with a Reaper. I'm terrified. Ooh. Blech. Yeah, the first cry sent like a chill through my body. I was like, oh, nope. This is awful. This is not okay. Samara, yes! You came! Oh, it's one of her daughters! As soon as I was able. She's okay! Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. Hello! She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. It's nice to they meet have... you. They have Rila! <gasps> oh no! I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. <gasps> I've been trying to get there! What are the Reapers doing here? Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. I don't want to say the Ardat Yakshi are innocent, because I was assuming they were, and if anything was happening to them, it was against their will, but for the sake of fleshing out the conversation, I'll ask. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. Mm -hmm. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Oh, proud mama. I believe you. We have to find Rila fast. Mm -hmm. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? I did. <laughs> we'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire. Oh, no. I'm sorry. They didn't help anyone? Falaire! Oh, no. What is she doing? The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Look how graceful she is. Oh, such a bed. You there. Please be swift. I'll go as fast as I can. Oh no. Oh no. So one of her daughters has just gone rogue and is like, I'm gonna take care of it. Meanwhile, the other one is very much been kidnapped by Reapers. Is not in a good spot right now. Rumors? Girl, it's not rumors, they're here. Go in peace, okay. You know. Ooh, damaged elevator. You need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Yeah, that's extremely rude. I don't appreciate that at all. So much destruction. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Ooh. Marauder? Um, what? Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh no, where are my teammates? You guys! <laughs> oh no! I hate when that happens. Judge! Boom! Get out of my way. What's in this room? Do, 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 do. Boop. I got some shoulder guards. Yay! Oh, what's this? Disciple! That's a good Slayer song. Boop. Oh, I 
I leveled up. Yay, you guys, I leveled up. Uh... Uh, what is in the wall here? <laughs> what is? Oh, okay. Okay, moving on. Um, hello? It's, it's too quiet. Way too quiet. Hello, computer? Jethra, I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. The Justica who brought her to us, Justica Fora, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guards. She's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. The Justicar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Justicars on the level of coercion for as permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here terrified out of their wits but it will certainly be the last matriarch galay. That person sounds lovely. Boop. Jethra, I looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm approving everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. <laughs> That's worse than being cunning and okay. Find me a worse combination to let outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that and pray it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. <gasps> Oh, she's like Samara's daughter. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit their own home world. Unless Yanis matures, she won't be among them. Matriarch Galay. Oh dear. All right, Javik, Liara, hold my hand, please. A bunch of debris, not ominous at all. Well, it looks like I can't go over that pile of debris. So let's make our way down the stairs. Let's hope a banshee doesn't eat my face. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, oh, the scream. Oh, the scream. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, my God, I haven't seen one that close yet. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, no. Oh, get down, get down. Holy crap. Oh, that's scary. Oh, hello. I see you back there. Nice try. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see that guy? He went flying. That was amazing. Yeah, I'm like, I'm trying not to get too close to them. I mean, I did charge one. That was probably a terrible idea. <laughs> wow. I don't know why they're so terrifying, but they are. Rip to that guy. All right. Next. Nope, 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 nope. That's gonna be a no from me. No, thank you. No, thank you. Javik, do you like my song? Let's bypass the door. I'm uncomfortable. You guys go first. <laughs> you go. Hello? I don't like it. Oh, what's this? Assault Rifle Precision Scope. Okay. Oh, sorry, corpse. The Asari should have rid themselves of the other Yokshi. Okay. Rid themselves? You mean kill? My people would never let such monsters walk among them. They didn't care for the competition. Oh, <laughs> Liara, solid burn. Wow, she is not having any of Javik's sass. Wow. <laughs> Dang, Liara. <laughs> Liara is pretty done with his BS, and quite frankly, I mean, it's very easy as an outsider who hasn't existed in this world to be like, well, we just wouldn't let them exist. It's like, yeah, you wouldn't, but like they are beings in their own right and they deserve to have life and to live in peace and have the opportunity to not murder things. <laughs> You know, like, and obviously this place was working very well before Reaper influence came in and created those monstrosities. So excuse you, Javik. 
Love you, Liara. Kisses. Poor Liara, she seems so disillusioned with Protheans now. And meeting Jarvik, I honestly don't blame her. Like, seriously, just don't meet your heroes. Things have evolved to a different place now, you know. Deep breaths. Oop. Elevator controls. Oh, we found the bomb. There's the bomb. Are we going to be able to walk right up to it? Absolutely not. Is that Samara? We found our bomb. And Falaire. Rila. Rila, wake up. Oh no! Rila cannot hear us. <gasps> oh no, what happened? Still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's so sad. All right, let's examine the bomb. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? Oh no. Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Oh no. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Um... Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Oh no. Later. Let's take care of this first. Oh god, here they- Oh, there's a bunch of them! Oh my god, no! No, no, no. Hello! Hi, sweetie. Love your look. You're really cool looking, but I really don't like the fact that you want to kill me. No, thank you. Tasks, I don't have time for your sass right now, okay? I'm busy. Oh, dear god. There's two of them! More than two. I think there's three. Oh my god. Run! Oh. Oh my god. Oh, they're terrifying. Oh my god. Oh. No. Let's get back to that bomb. Oh my god. The screaming continues. Oh my god. All right, let's get back to the bomb. Oh no. Oh no, no, sweetie, don't get too close. Falaire, go. Take the elevator. Oh. What are you doing? It's too late for me. Huh? There are hundreds coming. Hundreds? Oh, she has it. Move! We no. gotta go. Rina! I love you. Oh my 
God! I'm not your slave. Bye bye. Goodbye. You would have died too. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. Oh. We left her to die. She told you to go. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Falair, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot <gasps> live outside a monastery that no longer exists. Oh my god! What are you doing? No! I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Falair. Mother, no! No! My daughters, you were all so. No! Let. Go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. Oh my god! If the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay. As you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. Oh. My God. Wow, I'm so glad I didn't miss that Paragon interrupt. That would have been so awful. That was, that was hard to watch. Oh God, I'm so relieved I didn't miss the Paragon interrupt. That could have been really bad. I mean, I can't imagine the pain of losing one child, let alone two, and then you have a third and it's like, according to my code, I'm supposed to kill her. Like, I can't do that. I can't even begin to imagine like that pain. And her poor daughter has just lost her sister. Like it's, it's devastating. That close up shot of the Banshee was terrifying. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. Her daughter has basically resigned herself to the fact that she's going to die because the Reapers are already there. So she said, I'm going to stay here, which means that she's going to either die by her own hands or the Reapers are gonna get her. Now I have the option to say Samara could stay with her or Samara could come with me. I don't know what to say. Part of me is like, should she stay with her daughter? Also, when I say it's time to fight, am I saying it's time to fight, meaning you should come with me? Or it's time to fight, meaning fight the Reapers? I mean, if she wants to be with her daughter, she could. I feel like that's what I should say. Like, you could stay. I understand if you wanted to help Valer rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. Of course, Samara! The yes! The honor is mine, my friend. Yay, Samara's back! Woohoo! I was wondering when we'd see her again. Everything's oh, taken care of down here. Poor thing. In the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Oh my god, that was intense. 
Wow. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. Look who it is. That's why I set off the bomb. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. It's... I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. You're welcome. Well, we got a bunch of money for that, um, and we got some Asari troops. So that's, that's good. <laughs> wow, that was so sad and also so terrifying. Like, I knew Banshees existed, but I didn't know exactly what they were. It was so sad, too, to see Samara's daughter, like, get killed right at the last second. Like, I, I'm kind of glad that her sister didn't have to see that. That was... I feel like it happened once the door was already closed. Yeah, that's definitely a sound you don't want to hear when you're in a very dark place. That's extremely eerie and quiet. No thank you. So, Sarah, how about your buddy? The one who joined Cerberus. Who? You heard from him? No, I cut ties. Reported him for whatever good that did. No way I want that crap on my record. Interesting. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, trainer. Boop. Found something from Miranda Lawson. Shepard, I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you a nav point when you get here. Miranda, I was wondering when she would resurface. Dinner... <laughs> It's happening! It's happening, guys! <laughs> he's barely been on the Normandy 24 hours. And he sends me an email called Dinner. Oh, okay. Hey, Shepard. I don't know about you, but I could sure use a little breather. Next time we're on the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. We should try Apollo's. It's that little restaurant in the courtyard overlooking the Presidium. Caden. I I hope this can be a just friends going out to dinner, but given that I've had to like turn him down in Mass Effect 1, and it's just like I Caden is the character where you could like sneeze and he'll think that you're interested in him. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I mean, I'll go to dinner with you, Caden, as long as you know that we are friends and you don't bring up Cerberus or anything like that. We could have a nice dinner. I'm a bit nervous about it, if I'm being honest, because it's Caden. I'll, like, be eating my appetizer and he'll sneak a wedding ring in there or something. Take a break. Oh, Garrus! Shepard, I thought next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a war without a little R&R &R once in a while. I'll be hanging around C-Sec near the shuttles if you're interested. Garrus, yes. See, Garrus just wants to hang. You know what I mean? Love you, Garrus. Headed for the front lines. Wait, 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 what? I thought Samara was coming with us. Headed for the front lines, Shepard, I finished my business on Les Us. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight where it is most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there. Samara? Oh, I thought she was going to be on the Normandy with us. Oh, well. I guess we can't bring everyone <laughs> on the ship. <sighs> I got all excited. Asari squad ready from Corrine Lemaze. Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, Asari High Command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you'll allow me a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who went down to that monastery. Nothing will bring them back. But hearing that that place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain Corrine Lemays. I hope you meant glad it went up in smoke after the Reapers attacked it, not before, because that would be awkward getting away from work. Oh, Liara sent me an email. At least she's talking to me somewhat. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock on the Citadel. Liara, wow. 
my social calendar is really filling up. I mean, next time we go to the Citadel, Caden wants to take me for dinner, Garrus wants to hang out, Liara wants to go out, I have to meet Miranda and Samara, like I have a full schedule. My dance card is filling up really quick. I'm gonna play it cool and be like, yeah, babe, I might be able to pencil you in, you know, I'm really busy. Yeah, I'll try. I have a lot of things to do. Visiting the Citadel from Javik. <laughs> oh God, what is this gonna be? Okay. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. Of course you do, sweetie. I assumed Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control shared among races is a lie. <laughs> oh no. Gotta love it. He's a character. I appreciate it. It tickles me. Not only do I have all these social obligations on the Citadel, but now Trainer wants to like hang out in her room. The reporter wants to have a private meeting. Oh my God. How am I gonna like field all these, these social obligations? Wow, I feel so popular. <laughs> Hello, trainer. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. Yay! I decided to help the war effort. Finally. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. No matter how pretty you are? Oh, trainer, my goodness. She's like, don't you think I'm pretty? Tell me I'm pretty, call me pretty. Call me pretty. Oh man, so the question is, I mean, Trainer wanted us to take care of something, but I'm like, do we go to the Citadel and see Liara? Because Liara, like, wanted to hang out with me and blow off some steam. And we did do a Liara mission today. So maybe I should go see Liara? Hey, kids. How are things in here? Hi. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. Yeah. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for... God, centuries. And the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut anymore. Mm-hmm. We're cutting some corners, right? Everyone so, is. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. Yeah, if there's anyone left. Commander. Hi, Edie. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports. Being awesome. On storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. Love her. How bad are these storms? If we are warned... Not bad. Oh dear. We are not warned. Very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Thank you. Something else to deal with. Well, you know, Edie's researching a lot of things and I appreciate her for that. Boop. Garrus mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. Oh, we're gonna absolutely rage train her. Do you wanna come? Like, do you wanna hang out with us? It's gonna be a really good time. Garrus and I get wild when we go out. Like, I hope you're ready your liver might actually try to leave your body. <laughs> you should come with us. It'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully we won't get arrested, but I'm not promising anything. We saved the Citadel just so we can go and party in it. I mean, purgatory did not stop, even for Cerberus. Yara mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. Oh yeah, she did. I mean, I would invite you, but like, you wouldn't want a third wheel. Our date, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, well, let's go see what Liara wants to do. Boop. Less us. You are very less us. It's time to leave all of those banshee corpses behind. No, thank you. I don't want it. Boop. <laughs> Wee. I found something. Oh, I found stuff. Boop. Scan. Do, 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 do. Boop. Ooh, I got intel intact. Reaper weapon. Yes! Nice. What's this? Yay, I got fuel. I was about to run out of fuel. Hell yeah. More fuel. <laughs> yes. Oh, boop. Quick. <laughs> I'm going to take my fuel and run. Run. Oh my god, to the mass relay. Quick. Boop. Evasion successful. <laughs> Bwah, that's right, I got away from you. We outran the bwah. Time to go to the Citadel and meet my Goyle friend. That's right, Reapers. Bwah. Boop. 
Bye bye. Ta ta. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Thank you. Um, let's go to the Presidium. I need a cab to the Presidium. I need a cab, babe. It's becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Oh, those poor people. Oh, it's so bright. Hi, everybody. It's me. I'm back. I'm looking for my girlfriend. You know, Liara, the Shadow Broker. Do you know who my girlfriend is? This place is still in shambles. Someone's still hacking and coughing. It's fine. Hi everyone, I'm back. And I was just here jogging my way around. Did you miss me so much? <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, it's Caden. Is that Caden? No, Caden's down there. Caden's by the cafe. Oh my God, I thought that was Caden. Oh. <laughs> I was like, if I run into him, I'm going to have to go to dinner with him. I'm not ready yet. I'm here to meet my Goyle friend. And then afterwards, Caden and I can have a nice friend dinner. Can I put my visor on or like a hat or something so he won't see me? Okay, he's a CSAC officer. All right, I'm going to run down here and run past the cafe where Caden is so he won't see me. <laughs> run. Oh, not this. Is this her? Of course. P O. Oh. Weshra. Hi. I have a log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh Tasha. Oh. At least I know what happened. Oh, sad panda. I need to go find my girlfriend. I need a hug. Liara, where are you? This guy's still over here using <laughs> using the ATM that's not there. Sir, are you okay? I'm seriously really worried about you. Can somebody help him, like get him back to his home? It's time to go hang out with Liara. I wonder what she wants to do. Let's see. Hello, sweetie. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? Hi. I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. Oh. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Being cute. Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> oh, little Liara. I was very young. Oh. Oh my god, I can say kids do dumb things. Oh my god. So rude. Kids are kind of cute. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. Aww. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. Aww. I miss her, Shepard. Aww. Tell me more about her. Like she was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. Aww. Be okay, Leo. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I you're wish we welcome. could spend more time together like this. Just <laughs> friends. <laughs> I feel like she's very deliberately said the word friends like <laughs> three times now. Oh no. I feel like we established our romance in one and then nothing happened in two and now we're back to friends. I mean, at least we are clarifying, having the conversation, we're not assuming, which is always healthy. I'm going to say I want more than just friends. I hope I don't phrase it that way. I hope I phrase it in a better way than this sentence. Let's see. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Well, that sounds serious. Ooh. I am serious. <gasps> Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Whoa, we just went from zero to a hundred. <laughs> see that I feel that way too. Ooh! Oh! Oh my goodness! I really have a girlfriend now. Not just that, I think I have a wife. I think I basically just asked her to move in with me. <laughs> it wouldn't be a, a same-sex female relationship if we weren't you hauling after one date. This is this was a date. 
right? And now we're you holing. <laughs> and now she's back to staring in the distance. Hey, sweetie. I mean, I've been calling her my girlfriend this whole time, but I guess she was on a different page. That's fine. <laughs> I like that I went from we're just friends to I want to spend my life with you. Like, that's a bit of a jump, Shepard. One minute you're friends, the next minute you're like, you know, I want to get married. Let's move in together. Watch two days from now, she'll be like, so we're friends, right, Shepard? She keeps it interesting. She keeps me on my toes. It's fine. I'm glad that we're not just friends anymore. I'm glad we had this talk. I love... <laughs> I love how we just had this romantic conversation and the Citadel is still on fire in the background. The ambiance for the romance that I just provided is absolutely impeccable. Get you a girl who asks if you want to literally get married in front of a giant plume of smoke of a building that's on fire. I mean, what more could you ask for? I like that I just had this conversation with her and now I have to like go hang out with all these other people. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cool that they give you so many options to change your relationship if you feel like it. Like if you were going to romance someone in like one or two, they give you the option to change that in three, which I like. I do feel like there should have been more of like a cinematic, them actually kissing and not just their faces almost touching and not quite. It's okay. Is she gonna say Shepard after we just had this conversation? Hello, Shepard. well do I know my girlfriend? I mean, fiance. <laughs> oh, I mean, the one thing we do have in common is Liara and Shepard are both really bad at segues. Well, at least like no matter how little she talks to me now, I know that she wants to be my wifey, my little blue waifu. Well, sweetie, this was lovely. I'm gonna leave and try to avoid Caden, who's over there in the cafe waiting for me to show up. Love you, honey. Kisses. We even had a conversation about being a literal long-term couple, little old ladies together, and she's like, hello. <laughs> that was the extent of the conversation. I'm like, do I just get the dinner with Caden over with? I wanted to come here and get Liara's dad's blessing, but apparently she's not here anymore. That's okay. Oh my God, is that Caden over there? Should we get the dinner over with? Should I sneak up behind him really sneakily? It's still on fire in the background. Well, now that Liara and I are an item, I can tell him that. He's waiting for me. Meanwhile, I'm just standing behind him. <laughs> Slowly encroaching on his table. I feel like Caden could have seen us from here. Does he have binoculars or something? Well, the giant plume of smoke would be in the way. Giant plume of smoke coming through, giving us privacy. All right, let's just do it while we're here. I'm curious. Hi, Caden. can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better. How long have you been now? here? Or where? How or what? We're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things Aww. have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars, and there weren't enough moments like this oh. with people I care about. Oh, the music. The music. <laughs> the music just got very dramatic. Okay, do you see these options that we have? What's going on with you? Glad we're getting to talk. We need to talk. Oh, please tell me this isn't romance music. I just told Liara that we're gonna grow old together and be a couple. How did I know? I was hoping that Caden just wanted like a chill friend hang and I sit down and the romance music starts. <laughs> no! Hey, can we turn that music off? Thanks, guys. <laughs> Seriously. Should I just say what's going on with you? Should I just act completely clueless? What's going on with you? Are like, you I don't know. <laughs> feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. <laughs> and grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Oh, I appreciate that. That's nice of him. Glad we're getting to talk. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich too. So? 
Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. Batarian shard Batarian's wine? place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. Vancouver's you know beautiful. I feel good about our chances. Aww. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Aww. Maybe a little restless. I mean, it's hugely stressful, poor guy. Here's to that. Let me tell you something that I've been thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. Really? <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, some people even find my, uh, integrity annoying. I couldn't tell if she was being really? sarcastic or not. Oh, no, seriously, I've... <laughs> okay, fine. Well, now you're messing <laughs> I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. <laughs> Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a Aww. Kid, And I value your friendship. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Phew. I feel like if I hadn't done the Liara conversation first, this would have been a love confession. That's really nice. You know, sometimes it's really nice to hear from your friends, like... Or people you work with. I feel like Shepard doesn't get a ton of like one-on-one -on -one, heart to heart like thank you. She'll get like a thank you email or in the moment people are like, thanks for your help. But she I don't feel like she doesn't get a ton of like heart to hearts like this, really, from someone she's known like a long time. And I think it's really nice that Caden sat her down and was like, Hey, I really admire you as a boss and I consider you a good friend. It's like it's really nice to hear sometimes. Like sometimes you need to hear that from people, especially if you do a lot of things for everyone else, like literally saving the universe from the Reapers. It's nice to hear sometimes. Well, Caden, I know we tease you a lot. I know we call you potato. I know we say you're not very exciting, but you're our friend. So the feeling is mutual. You're my brother, Caden. No. Brother Caden. A sanity check. We have sanity left. <laughs> sanity check. Oh, that was sweet. I enjoyed that. Thanks for the drink, Caden, and for Dindins. Yay! Oh, that was a nice hang. It's nice to hear from friends sometimes that you're valued and they care about you. It's really sweet. Take this as a sign to tell someone that you're friends with and that you care about, that you care about them and how much they mean to you, okay? Do it today. Now I feel like I need to go see Garrus and get wasted. Oh, Edie and Joker are in the lower bar in purgatory. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where's Garrus? I want to go see Garrus and get some hang time in with him. He's on the Normandy dock. Let's go get him. Boop. Garrus, me boy. Thank you. It's time for hangs with Garrus. Boop. Thank you. Garrus, Garrus, Garrus. Now arriving at Docking Bay D20. Hey, there's my boy. Hi, Garrus. Shepard, glad you came. Hi. Love you, Garrus. Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. <laughs> like alcohol. <laughs> Everything involves them, like alcohol. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. Hey. I already scoped it out. But of course he did. If this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Oh? Where are we going? Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Some things never change, do they? <laughs> Oh. Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Uh-oh. Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. Oh! oh. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. Oh! No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> Now I just don't care anymore. <laughs> 
Yay, Garrus! Look how high up we are. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. I mean, the last chance we ever get. I'm here for it, Garrus. Look at that view. Whoa! Busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? What? No! Don't you dare, Garrus. You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing <laughs> and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. Occasional bouts of drowning. Yeah, you're right. I just have to save your ass again. <laughs> Did make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. Oh. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? And it shows on your face? <laughs> My God! Dang! Oh, wow. We've been through so much with Garrus. Garrus, me boy, has been there since the beginning. He's a real, real friend. It's like, do you, like, call him a good friend or do you ultra roast him? <laughs> wow. I'm going to go with you're a good friend, Garrus. We love you, Garrus. around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. We never give up on you. Lucky I can say I know someone like that. Oh, this is so precious. You're not going to propose marriage now. <laughs> I mean, now, I, I'll, I'll think about back, it. There is one thing we're going to settle once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun. Just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance. So... <laughs> no comment. <laughs> You're going down. Oh, you know no! What? I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. I'm not gonna try and outshoot Garrus. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I would not try and out-snipe Garrus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I said a tough one. That's my boy. <laughs> Love Step it. Uh-oh. Miss on purpose, shoot target. Okay, okay. What do I do? Oh no, I don't know what to do. Do I make Garrus look good or do I shoot the target? Oh my God, I don't know. Also, we are shooting into oncoming traffic. You realize that Garrus. Garrus clearly does not give two Fs anymore. I'm unsure because I'm like, I, part of me is like, if I miss on purpose, I feel like he's gonna know that I missed on purpose. Do you know what I mean? I feel like he's smart enough to know that if I miss on purpose, that I did it on purpose. He knows me very well. He knows sniper rifles very well. I feel like he's gonna know. If I'm able to shoot the target, I feel like I should. Cause I want him to feel like he's the best, but he knows he's the best. Even if I hit the target, he's a better sharpshooter than me. He knows it. He doesn't need me to, he doesn't need me to miss on purpose. I'm gonna shoot it. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. <laughs> yeah, but next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that was so wholesome and cute. Love you, Garrus. You're the best. I love him. I love him. Garrus is awesome. I would love to do another playthrough someday so I could romance Garrus. Like he's one of the romances I've really wanted to see play out. Um, Cause a lot of people really seem to love romancing him. Hello. I'm glad the keepers survived the coup because I would have been very upset. I keep getting in their way, sorry. Okay, now I absolutely have to go to Purgatory and see Edie and Joker at the bar. I'm gonna like be really far away, hopefully and spy on them. Apparently we can't stay away from the club. We're going back to purgatory. Let's go. Party don't stop. Not for Cerberus, the Reapers, for Banshees. The party does not stop. <gasps> Elcor. 
freedom of our people with overwhelming sadness. No, don't be sad, Elcor. Have a hug. Without it, we lack the guidance we need. Hi. With certainty, we need the wisdom of our ancestors in these trying times. I love you, Elcor friend. Would you like to go in the club and dance with me? It's okay if you don't want to. Bye. <laughs> All right, out of my way, I need to go and see my favorite ship in the game. Having fun in the club together, I hope. All right, it said they were by the bar. Hey, it's Arsless Chaps Lady again. Hello, <laughs> glad to see you're still here. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. They're sitting at the table together. Everyone stay calm, don't panic. Look at the Asari getting it, yes. Okay, okay, I'm gonna boop. Boop. Don't interrupt. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate. <gasps> upon a relationship. Oh! He is happier. Oh my god, they're in a relationship? Oh my god, when did that happen? Oh my god. Well, I'm glad I didn't snoop on the conversation of them agreeing to a relationship, but oh my God, they're dating now? They're dating now? Best day ever, best day ever. I'm so happy. Yay! He looks so happy. I guess I could contain my excitement enough to say good for you. It seemed like you two might make a good match. Oh. When I first presented his body to Jack, he seemed aloof. Oh, he was... Really? What did Joker say? <clears throat> he said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit. <gasps> and we then proceeded to talk more. Called him on his bullshit? His attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant. But you convinced him to go for it. Wow! Okay. I, I did what I could. <laughs> I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. Oh! I'm so happy! Oh my god. Oh my god, Arsless Chaps Lady just came to the table. Excuse you, ma'am. Excuse you. We're having <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Can you and your little butt get out of here, please? <laughs> this is a sweet, intimate moment. Hi. Introduced me as your personal assistant, Mac. Yeah, well, it was the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI. Oh, they're having their first tiff. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. <laughs> they're already having their little tiffs. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of conversations going to need to be had to make this relationship work. Counselor Tabos. Hot, but points off for attitude. Shaira, the consort. This lady. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. <laughs> You're creeping me out. Ew. <laughs> what is this? What? Why is she asking him about people he finds attractive? I think it's time for me to leave. You should take the hint, arseless chaps lady. It's definitely time for you to leave too. I know you're probably a waitress or a bartender or something, but like, leave them to be cute in peace. Oh my god, I'm so happy you guys are actually in a relationship. I mean, I kind of wanted to see the conversation play out, but I also like didn't want to intrude. But I'm so happy for you guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Kisses, love you both. Okay, have a good night. Yay! Edie and Joker are together. My heart is so happy. All right, while we're here, a drunk uncle at a wedding, let's go. Can't come to purgatory without doing the shepherd shuffle and wiggling our butt in an Asari space. I like how she's not even on beat with the music. Oh, it's so good. Goodbye. Have fun, everyone. I wish I could stay and party with you guys, but I think it's time for me to call it an evening. 
I mean, this club's pretty popular, you know, considering the fact that they play the same song the whole time. It is very catchy, though. Another successful evening on the Citadel. Got a girlfriend, officially this time. Had a nice friend dinner with Caden. Had a really fun time with Garrus shooting sniper rifles at oncoming traffic. It's fine, don't worry about it. And we confirm that Edie and Joker are officially in a relationship. I'm so happy. Purgatory, you have been the setting for much happiness in my Mass Effect 3 journey. I'm very grateful to you. Boop. To the embassies. Boop. Unsa, unsa, unsa. Hey, look, that's what we were shooting. <laughs> it's oncoming traffic. Thank you. Hey, it's this guy. What do you think? Are you underwhelmed? <laughs> As usual. <laughs> Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, <laughs> I don't know what to think. It's a victory. I like that. Might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. Yeah. It's a victory in itself. It's pretty amazing. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? Mm-hmm. It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Kinda. Little bit. Uh-oh. Pardon me. This one has been listening. Oh. Uh this one suspects you are a Prothean. Hello. Um. Javik? I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. Surprise! He's unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their god. Oh my god! Pity we did not teach them to speak better. This is wild! You're really a Prothean? I was wondering if this would happen. Hello! But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. But... The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the... Um, I don't think that's gonna work. <sighs> but you are Let's try still again. Alive now. That alone is a miracle. There we go. You still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. <sighs> Florian, that was Asari, close. Hana, there was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. Okay. We are alive. And we will fight back. Yes. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. <laughs> you can say he's kind of scary. I'm going to go with the good vibes here and say he's a good guy. He's starting to learn his way around. <laughs> Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The commander is a capable warrior. Capable warrior. For a human. <gasps> who once lived in caves. For a human. Okay. You, I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Okay. <laughs> oh, Javik. What can you say? You know? <gasps> Samara! Hello, darling. I won't remain here much longer. What? what are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. No, where Come are you going? Asking. And Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. Oh, it's an honor. It's not our last battle. I don't want to believe it's our last battle. Yeah, I'm going to say it's an honor. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is Aww. impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, 
Be sure to assess your force's strength and weaknesses before setting out. I'm going to investigate just to cause in the what war. Are the other just doing for the war. Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. Oh no. Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves if that is what's required. That seems bleak. Is the Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising. Oh, often Samara. To the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. The Reapers. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Does it? Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. Her eyes are so piercing. It is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. But what do you think? Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a reaper on the citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Oh, Falair. be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? Right? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falair will find it. I hope she does. It and you, Samara. Good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. Glad you still have one. Have things worked out. Yeah. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Oh. Thank you. So relieved. So relieved. Well, I don't want to say goodbye, but good luck, good luck Samara. You Please well. be careful. I don't know if you believe in such things. But goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire. Soon enough. Oh, I'm glad we got to have a chat with her after that mission. We got to, like, say goodbye. Oh, I really hope she survives. Bye, Samara. Sad panda. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. What? Thank you so much. Oh, that's great. I'll take care of the rest. That's so awesome. All right, last but not least, we have Miranda. Miranda's in the Spectre's office. Here we go. Boop. Miranda, are you in here? Apparently she's here. Oh, 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 oh. Message terminal, here we go. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Hello. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Leng? That slippery bastard still alive? Yep. He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. Shocking. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Oh dear. Something big. Ties to Cerberus? Be working with the elusive man? Because he's a piece of my garbage, apparently. Ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the Oh dear, him? that's not good. Exactly. He has to be stopped. What's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but 
I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? If you want to do this yourself, yes. why are you asking me for help? I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Let me help you. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. <laughs> no. I couldn't. Dang. Oh, Miranda is in very hot water. While we're here, let's check the Spectre terminal. Oh, what is her father up to? One piece of garbage working with another piece of garbage. Boop. Here we go, location for Din Korlak. Volus Ambassador Din Korlak's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was an office suite near the human embassy. James and Cortez, where are you guys at? What's going on, guys? Oh, hey. It's you. It's these two. Hi. No, but they promised, right? Oh, this poor girl. Hey, he's still here. You don't have to say anything, but I'm Hi. about to make my comeback. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Stand there and watch. No, I'm not. I'm going to move on. <laughs> Where is Cortez is the question. He's, oh, Cortez is at the memorial wall. Okay, let's go give him some comfort and friendship. Did he put up the picture of his husband? Hi, Cortez. Are you okay? I've just been standing here holding this for I don't know how long. Oh. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you. But I know Aww. you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. I'm glad you came. Oh, is that his picture? I just need a few moments to myself. Okay, buddy, I understand. Oh, that must have been really hard for him to do. So much love to you, Cortez. Everywhere I go, there's a Turian that's about to run into me. <laughs> Is this guy following me? There's this guy. There's one that looks like very similar by Purgatory. Hello, can I help you? <laughs> First of all, I'm really glad the Asari are finally joining the conversation. They're finally on board. I'm glad we got to help the Asari and Liara with her request. Um, it was terrifying to see what Ardak Yakshi turn into when Reapers get their hands on them. That's a big old note from me. Hated it. Don't want it. That was gut-wrenching. It was really nice to see Samara again. It was so sad she lost another one of her daughters. At least the third survived. And now Samara is going into battle. Ugh, it's like everywhere we go, there's heartbreak and devastation. And it was really nice to run into a character who, like, went into the end of Mass Effect 2 with us. As emotional as that mission was, I mean, it's scary seeing how many things the Reapers are manipulating and like turning into these monstrosities. Like it's kind of horrific. But despite that very emotional day, we got to have some really sweet moments as well. Like we got to hang out with Liara and confirm our relationship. We basically U-hauled. I love it. We got to hang out with Caden, Garrus, like we had a lot of really sweet friendship moments, fun moments. I'm really glad we got to have those to kind of decompress from the emotional main mission that we did today. I'm not really sure what we're going to do next time. I mean, we still have Trainer's mission that she asked us to do. We were now in contact with Miranda. I was really excited to see the Quarians on the map. Like, I would love to go straight to the Quarians, but I'm not sure if I should do that right away. I don't know. It's going to be tough to decide what we do next time, but at least we have a lot to choose from. <laughs> 
again. The audacity of this Turian. I don't know if he's like trying to vogue and strike a pose behind me or if he's giving me bombastic side eye, but like, dude, do you want my autograph or something? I love this game. Thanks so much for joining me for Mass Effect 3. If you're enjoying this playthrough and want to see more, go ahead and let me know by hitting the thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button on your way out so you can be notified when new videos go up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!